In this tutorial, I'm breaking down how you can create an automated contract using PandaDoc and Make.com. Using this method, you'll be able to create customized contracts and actually send them to your clients on autopilot, bringing you one step closer to a fully automated onboarding system. It breaks my heart every single time we onboard a new client and find out they are still manually creating and sending contracts. It just doesn't make any sense. It's a massive waste of time. When you really start growing your agency, you will do nothing but cause unnecessary delays in your client's journey, which you obviously don't want. Using this method, I'm about to break down this video. You'll be able to cut down on your delays and take one step closer to a fully automated and efficient onboarding system within your agency. I don't want to waste any more of your time, so let's get straight into how you can actually use PandaDoc to automate your contract creation. All right, guys. So in this video, we're going to be using PandaDoc and Make to actually automate your contract creation. My whole goal for this is to allow you to automatically use make.com to send completely personalized PandaDoc contracts to your clients by email and have them sign it electronically. I must say PandaDoc is probably the best app I've used so far to actually do this, which is why I'm using it for this tutorial. And using this automation, you'll be able to do this completely on autopilot to automate the actual creation and sending of your contracts within your agency. Let's get into how you can actually implement this automation to cut down your onboarding process and save you hours every single month. So guys, as you can tell, I want to get straight into it. So in terms of the setup, there's two things we need to do. We need to set up a document and then we have to set up the automation. The first thing we need to do is actually set up the document. Now, this will happen within PandaDoc where we set up a template for the specific document that we want to automate. So step one, we're going to go in PandaDoc and create a template. And then step two, we're going to set up fields within our template. Now, these fields can be anything such as the name, the services they choose, the price, the date, basically anything that you actually want to personalize within this contract. You can even have a field which you fit in using AI, for example. It completely depends on what you're trying to automate and what specific contract you're looking to create. But for this example, we're just going to create an average service agreement com contract and keep things super, super simple by automating the name, the services, the price, and obviously the date. I'm about to show you a live example right now. Don't feel like you need to copy exactly what I'm showing you. It's just an example that you can use and apply the same exact frameworks to your specific template. So let's go into Panda Docs. I'm going to create an account and show you exactly what I mean. All right, cool guys. So I've gone ahead and created a free Panda Doc account with a 14 day free trial. So if you still want to test this out before actually purchasing anything, and please do sign up for the free trial using the link in the description. Now, the main thing we want to do here is actually upload a template. And to do that, we're just going to press this plus button right here. And they have a lot of templates right here, but we can just load our own or even start with a blank template. I've just found this random employment agreement within my Google Drive. And for this example, we're just going to use this. Like I said, guys, it really, really does not matter what agreement you're using. It's just exa the exact same frameworks I'm using here to whatever it is that you're using. So I'm going to export this as a PDF. Then I'm going to go back to PandaDoc and just simply drag that in just like that. So it's going to take a second to process and then we should be able to start editing it. So, all right, guys, so it wasn't letting me edit it. So I've just uploaded it again as a Google Doc rather than a PDF. I'm going to just add a signature again at the bottom here. I might have to create another page just to add that signature so they can actually sign it. Perfect. Now, I'm going to add a couple of things here. Now, obviously, if you're doing this properly, you'd have to add it to the actual contract. But I just want to show you that this works. So, for example, we're going to put name, services. We're going to put price. And we're going to put the last thing, which was just a date. Now for this day, I'm going to put three months in advance just to show you different ways how you can actually manipulate the date in whatever scenario you want. I'm also going to put a current date to show you how to do that. Super simple, guys. Like I said, if you were doing this properly, then you would embed these different things within the contract. But just for example, I'm just going to show you this works. So I'm going to leave it as that. Now, we've created a name. Now we want to create individual fields for each one so we can actually automate it. Now to actually add the variables, all we're going to do on this right-hand tab right here, we're going to move over to variables and I'm going to add a custom variable but this one the first one's going to be name so we're just going to name it name I can't type for some reason add the variable and you'll see it'll create it here so now all we're going to do is go over here copy this go back to our agreement in the name section and just paste it here just like that I'm just going to repeat this process for services price and date I might speed up I might not let's see what happens So that's literally our document set up, guys. Super simple. Now, once again, I'll repeat myself. If you're doing this properly, you'd obviously integrate these within different parts of the contract, such as here or here, or in just different areas, such as the pricing area. I don't know. You know how contract works. I'm guessing you know how variable works as well. And you can also use the same variable twice. So for example, if I were to paste this here, you'll see when we actually create it, it will add the variable in both of these places. Now that we set up our document, it's time to actually set up the automation. Now, when it comes to different automation tools, it doesn't really matter what you're using. 
All it is is a no code tool connecting different APIs from different software together. You can use Zapier or Make. We usually use Zapier for most of our videos because it is a bit more beginner friendly, but we've recently started experimenting creating videos with Make. But guys, in all honesty, you can use either of these. It does not really matter what you use. I've got links to both of them in the description. You can sign up for whichever one you prefer. I'd say Zapier is a bit more beginner friendly, but you can do a bit more with Make. It just depends on the specific use case you're looking for. We literally use both of them every single day within our partners agencies. For this example, you can use Make, where you can just copy the exact same frameworks I'm using and do the same thing on Zapier. So guys, we've done all the hard work for this automation. So the next step will be straightforward. We're just going to create this automation where every time we get a specific trigger, it will create a document and actually send it to the client. The key to this automation is discovering the trigger. Now, usually, if I were doing this properly as part of my onboarding process, I'll set the trigger, start the onboarding process rather than this specific step. So if you're using this for your onboarding process, really, really think about the trigger that you want to use to start your onboarding process. Usually the easiest one is either a form or an update in your CRM. For this example, we need a form because it probably is a bit easier when it comes to the contract side of things. But if you're doing this for your onboarding, I really, really recommend you do an update in your CRM and extract all the information because that'll probably be the easiest way for you and your employees to do this. All right, guys, for this example, I just created a super, super simple Google form. Obviously, if you're doing this properly, you'll have to collect more information. But once again, all we're connecting is the name, the price, the services, and the email. Now, if you're copying exactly what I was doing and you want to apply this, you would obviously firstly add information, but also get one of your sales reps or your customer success managers to fill us in when you actually close a client. But yeah, that's some data in. So I'm going to put Leo Bloxamate as the name. For the price, I'm going to put 4,000 services. I'm going to put AI turn. Cool. Creation, API, mastery. Just a couple examples. And for emails, I'm going to put my email, boxamate at gmail.com. Sorry, guys, I can't type for some reason. Cool. So now what we're going to do is submit this. And that will actually be the trigger for our form. So now let's head over to my mate.com account to actually create the rest of this automation. All right, guys. So I've gone ahead and entered my test account. If you haven't used Make before, you can sign up using the link in the description. Like I said, it is a bit harder to use than the Zapier, but I'm going to keep this extremely simple within this tutorial. So don't worry about anything. For this, all we're going to do is head over to scenarios. We're going to create a new scenario. And here's where the magic happens. The first step of this, you're going to look for Google Forms. And here, you're going to choose that. And for event, you're going to put watch responses. You obviously have to connect your account. Go on ahead and connect it. And now you want to connect that form we just created in a second. So for form ID, you want to search for the title. This will be the contract test form. Let me try to search for it. It should come up, hopefully. Perfect. It's that limit to however you want. I'm just going to leave it two for now. I'm going to put all. And I want you to run this to see if there's any responses, which you should pick up that original response we did. So if you open this up and go over to answers, text answers, you can see that value actually exists. So that's the form we just completed. Now we're going to move on to the next step of this automation, which is actually creating a document. For this, we're going to add another module. And this time, I'm going to search for PandaDoc. Luckily, they already have the integration set up for you, so you don't have to worry about anything. Within the action, we're just going to scroll down to create a document. Once you're here, you're going to have to connect your PandaDoc account. Just so that simple, just log it in through the portal that will pop up. Once that done, we need to find a template that we just created, which for this example is called Copy of Employment Agreement. So for here, I'm going to go over here, and there you can see we see the copy of employment agreement right here. So I'm going to choose the top one. Now for the document name. Now I usually like to name my documents the name of the actual client. So I'm going to scroll down to text answers and get the value and then put contract. As you can see, all those blurs or fields you created in a previous step have now appeared here. And we're simply just going to fill this in straight from the form we just submitted. So for name, we already know. We're going to go to the first step, which is watch responses head over to name and we put the value of the actual name. For price, it's the same exact thing. We're going to open up the price section, go to text answers, open up answers again and put a value in. For services, we're going to open up the services, go to text answers, go to answers and add in the value. And now we're going to do the date, which if you don't know how to do it and make it super, super simple, it's actually extremely powerful. What you're going to do is this little calendar toggle right here and you're going to put date. Now, if you do like this, then it won't be formatted properly. So I like to format it for this. All I do is format date, you add the now variable here, and you can format the date however you want. So for example, I always like to do the British version, which is day, day, month, month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you want to do the date in three months, all we want to do is add months. We're going to copy and paste this specific example within the first variable and just add a free right here which will automatically add three months to the date. And last thing we want to do is add the client's email. Now, this is not 100% required, but I like to add it anyways. 
All you want to do is head back over to the star. And for email, do the exact same thing we did previously. Text answers and add that email in. Now, we're not going to send the document just yet because we want to send it in a kickoff email. You can do it just like that. But for this example, I'm just going to leave it. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and test this. And if you run this whole thing, we should be able to see a document being created. It's gone ahead and found the form and it's gone ahead and created a contract. So now if you go back to our Panadoc account, we leave the template section, we go to home, we see that contract we just created right here, Leo Flux make contract. Let's open this up and go through to see the variables have been added properly. So guys, as you can see, we've got the contract and it's added all the correct variables, added the name, the services, the price, and the date in three months, which you need to format again because it didn't work properly, and the date right now in both of the fields that we put in. I'm super happy with this. Now we need to move on to the next step and actually send the document. Now, when I send these documents, I like to download them first. So all you have to do for that is add another module, head over to Pandoc again, and want to download the document. This will just allow us to download as a PDF. And for the document ID, we're just going to enter the ID from a previous step where we just created, just like that. Once that's done, we want to move to the next step, which is actually sending the Gmail. So for this, all we're going to search for is Gmail or whatever email provider you're using. And we want to send an email. We want to connect your account once again by signing in through Google. And the key thing here, once that account is connected, we want to add a recipient. So I've gone ahead and connected my account. And for a recipient, all we're going to do is add that email address that we collected from the form. Once again, open on the form responses, go into email, open on the text answers, put on the answers again, and get in the value for the actual email. For the subject, we're just going to put contract. For the content, obviously, you can spice it up as much as you want. I just like to keep it nice and simple. This isn't a copyright and masterclass. You're just here for the automations. So here is the track. Now, guys. Because we downloaded the document in the previous step, we're just going to run this module as a test. And for attachments, we're just going to include that attachment from a binder doc we just created. Super simple, guys. And that's pretty much this automation done. So, guys, I'm going to run this automation and hopefully we'll get an email with our contract. Before I run it, let me just change this to start and put all. Let's do it. So, it's found that response, it's creating a contract. It's now downloaded the contract and now it's to send that email. All right, so that was done fairly quickly. Let's open up my email and check if I received anything. All right, guys. So as you can see, I've received the email with the text, the subject, which once again, don't copy. This is not copyright masterclass. And if you open this up, you can see the contract fully personalized with the name, the services, the price, the date, which I actually managed to format properly exactly in three months from now. And the day again with the two different fields. Now, one thing about this, because we send it as a PDF, it doesn't have the signature. So if you wanted to send this to your clients, the e-sign, which was the original purpose of this, all you have to do is edit this specific step here where we actually create a document. And if you scroll down to send document, all you're going to do is take this to a yes, the subject, the message, and that's simple, guys. I'll show you an example of what this looks like. So obviously for the subject, we're going to put contract. And for message, we can just put this is your contract. So if you run this again now and unlink these two steps so we don't have everything running at the same time, You'll see, I've just got this contract for me to sign. And if you open the document, you'll open up the Panadoc interface. You can see the front contract with all the variables. And if you scroll all the way down, I can tap this and add my electronic signature. Just like that, guys. Super, super easy. Then that's pretty much it, guys. We've now met my goal to actually create an automation using mate.com that will automatically personalize contract using Panadoc and then send them to your clients by email so they can e electronically sign it. It was fairly simple. The key thing was just setting up the correct format for the document and then finishing that automation off. Now, guys, I'll be honest, this is just the first step of your onboarding process that you need to have. And if you really want to optimize your onboarding process, you're going to have to do a lot more than just automating a contract. If you want a video going over exactly how to create a perfect onboarding process for your SMA agency, then all you have to do is check out the video in the top right hand corner. And that will guide you to this video, which goes over what I would call the perfect onboarding process for SMA. Automating your onboarding has so many advantages. Just think of it as the first impression you have with your clients. If you perfect that impression, you have a lot of advantages and more trust of the client. We'll talk about it a lot more in this video, so please, please check it out. It's extremely valuable. If you've watched until the end, make sure to like and subscribe because I know this video has been extremely useful. And if you want to learn a bit more about the stuff we do over at Fluxmate to set up skill-proof agencies, all you have to do is check out the first thing in the description to get access to this 20-plus page document going over exactly how you can set up a skill-proof system using different things like KPIs, automations, internal platforms, um, optimizing different processes like onboarding to make your agency more efficient. All you have to do is complete a short five-minute form. And from that, you'll get your onboarding process optimized 
based on your specific pain points, your client journey optimized, once again, based on your specific pain points, and five different automation examples with a step-by-step -step guide and how you can actually set them up based on the inefficiencies in your business. It's an extremely useful resource, and honestly, I'm surprised we're giving it away for free, but like everything else in this channel, we're not charging anything. It's all about providing free value to you guys, so hopefully, down the line, you'll come to us if you need help optimizing your processes and your operations. Lastly, guys, if you're at a point where you do need to optimize your processes and want to set up scale proof systems, check out the second link in the description that accesses free training going over exactly how we can save you $100 a month for this scalable system that will allow you to take on more clients without ruining your service and deliver profit margins. This is basically a 10 minute video going over exactly how we use our program to set up scale proof agencies. I will have to say that this is not for everyone. So if you're not at a point yet where you have to optimize your operations, which is usually around that 30k to 50k mark then I wouldn't recommend signing up just yet. But don't worry if that's not you. Please, please make the most of these free resources we're dropping on our YouTube video, our newsletter, everything, because I guarantee there's no one else in this space dropping this much value on a consistent basis. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope this tutorial has been useful. And if you have any questions, either because I didn't explain something properly or if I sped through any area of this tutorial, do drop a comment below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. One of the benefits that you guys have right now is that we're extremely small channel. So if you drop a comment, we're 100% gonna see it and give you an in-detail response going over exactly how we can help you. Make sure to like and subscribe. It's been a pleasure recording this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.